Hi guys, this was supposed to be a review and unboxing video with a twist. I got carried away on the twist and now it's too long and uh, I don't think there's really a Scion video anymore. In anticipation of receiving my retro commercial hardware and software GPS product, I wondered how I could play with it when the maps are all foreign. Lacking any map detail for Australia, the best I could hope for is just to be plonked on a continent. So the twist that I planned to add to the unboxing video was to make a device that simulates GPS hardware. I've started with a DSPIC 33FJ128GP802 connected to an SD card slot because I'm planning on implementing the microchip memory disk drive file system. MDDFS takes care of your SD cards, compact flash cards and USB drives. This early implementation just opens a GPX track log file because that's what I plan to work with and flashes the data out of the red LED. The orange LED is just flashing with a one second hardware timer. Software is mainly about translating the format of values or calculating them. Coordinate pair values will usually start out as decimal degrees. We can take the integer parts and convert them to positive values and instead represent their signs with cardinal directions. Then we multiply the remaining fractional part by 60 to arrive at decimal minutes. From here it's only a matter of correct string formatting to be able to drop this data into a GPRMC sentence. To the bottom right of the board is a footprint for a MAX232 chip to give the device a transmit serial port where it can pretend to be a GPS. When a Commodore Amiga CD32 is expanded with an SX1 module, that device provides the Amiga with an RS232 serial port. This allows me to use terminal software running on the Amiga to debug my microcontroller program. Here I've implemented my first NMEA sentence, and that includes an auto-incremented time, the location, and of course the checksums have to be recalculated. While working on microcontroller software, I might as well stick to the same GPX file, and it might as well match the location of the map data for the product that I'm expecting. This is what it looks like in a text viewer. I only get the location and elevation data for this one. And this is called Euroview via Rome. And it would continue on through Rome into Italy there, except I've only got a part of it that I'm using for this video. And we barely even get into that anyway. I've added the all important serial cable for the Scion and it didn't need any level conversion because it's right there on the original PCB. This is the Scion's inbuilt terminal program here. And it starts sending. I've implemented a few more NMEA sentences here. So given the location, looking at the previous location, you can calculate the forward bearing, uh, the distance between uh, the current and the previous location as the track log is scrolling. And assuming that the points are one second apart, which is a big assumption, you can also calculate speed. So that's a bunch more data that you can calculate for insertion into your NMEA sentences that wasn't originally available in the GPX track log file. Time to give it a run. I'm using a freely available program called Real Maps for the Scion, lacking the commercial product <laughs> that I'm waiting for. This is a raster mapping program, image based. I'm not really a fan, but it works. Not every free Scion mapping program would have supported GPS input. At this early stage, there's something wrong. We're pointed east, but moving west.
I suppose I can't use a character LCD now without doing transitions and graphics. This is doing an odometer transition which would be familiar from my old videos maybe, but it's so fast you can hardly see it. Every character is being consecutively scrolled in from the top. Uh, but there's a lot going on with this device. It has to read from the SD card right to the LCD and send serial out of a port. And now it's also going to have to read a shift register for a joystick. I borrowed this joystick from my Norizon display project, so this project doesn't officially have its own joystick. In this mode, the device doesn't adhere to the one second duration between sentences, so it does bog down the device.